Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It's Rust Belt Collector here with another video for you. Today we're taking a look at the new McFarlane Call of Duty uh, Captain Price figures, along with a unexpected two pieces, these uh, Soap McTavish figures from Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3. I won't be focusing too much on these two figures. Um, primarily this is going to be about Captain Price, but I do want to compare the two figures in their articulation because we see a lot of upgrades with this latest wave uh, from this first wave of Call of Duty action figures. Now first up, taking a look at the box here, you know, it's a pretty typical McFarlane box, very similar to the Borderlands figures and uh, very similar to like Star Wars The Black Series figure lines. You've got the name down here, title up there. You do get a card for some double XP in-game, which I was happy to use. I've been really enjoying the new Modern Warfare, both multiplayer and campaign, actually. Uh, side, you've got some nice box art here, picture of the new design for price. On the back, you can see here that there are three new figures in this wave with a fourth uh, unannounced one. I'm not sure who that's going to be, maybe somebody from uh, Modern Warfare, potentially, I would guess. What you do have, though, is Frank Woods from Black Ops, Rick Defend from the Zombies series, and then, of course, Captain Price from Modern Warfare. I really do hope that they release more uh, from the Modern Warfare series. Really enjoy the character designs, and I'd love to see more with these new articulation designs that they've done, uh, which I'll get to when I look at the figure. Other side, just another nice piece of art there. Bottom is just legalese, and that's that. I will mention right up front, and then never mention it again, that both of these figures do come with Call of Duty stands, just like the Borderlands figures. Nothing really special, but hey, they work. If you're going to display these on a desk, these are really nice, and despite their size, they really do a good job of holding up the figure. I'm going to talk about this uh, Soap McTavish figure that's still in the package first. I don't plan on keeping it in the package, but I didn't really want to unbox it for the video. I did want to show a quick comparison between the two packages. This is the old style, this is the new style. I do like the upgrade. Less plastic, more cardboard, probably better for the environment or something. And I didn't even plan on getting these two soap figures. Um, I just was going for price. I saw these two for five bucks each, and I was like, well, I've got to get them. Um, as you can see, they're just repaints of each other. This one is from one of the final missions of the game. This one is from one of the earlier missions. And yeah, they're just straight repaints. I don't know if that's game accurate, but I think this one was a Walmart exclusive, and this one was like a general release figure. You can see on the back that that's kind of what they did for this line. You had the standard release, and then you had three different exclusive figures. Um, I think this, the Ghost was a GameStop exclusive. Obviously, this version of Soap was a Walmart exclusive, and this version of Rune, I don't know. I don't know where he was an exclusive. I didn't really care for the Advanced Warfare figures. I really only liked the classic line, um, and I still need to get a ghost. I was waiting for him to go on clearance, and then he just kind of disappeared off the shelves, so that's that's typical. Taking a look at the figure, though, as per typical McFarlane standards, it's got a really amazing sculpt. However, that sculpt typically uh, does degrade from the overall articulation of the figure. A pretty decent face sculpt, all things considered, with a good range of articulation overall. I mean, you got some up, you got some down. A little bit of side to side. You can get some good articulation poses out of that. Kind of a weird thing to note, at least with mine, where the paint apps are. You can kind of see that the hair goes dark in the back here and then gets lighter. Probably where the the paint like applicators uh, missed a little bit or something. I don't really know. His shoulders leave a little bit to be desired in. Um, they're kind of droopy to begin with, but then they don't even reach 90. His elbows only just reach about a 90 degree angle. But then he has really nice wrist articulation, although I'm told that these can be very fragile. Um, but you get a lot of up and down as well as a complete swivel there. So really nice wrist articulation, but the rest of the arm just is kind of weak in that regard. Um, he does have a torso swivel, although I don't really think that that's terribly necessary for anything. It's it is what it is, though. It's nice to have another point of articulation. Not very much forward at the hips at all. Very limited by the sculpt here. He's got the same kind of strange um, hinged hips, I guess you might call them. I'm not really sure. Uh, the same ones as the Borderlands figures I reviewed in a previous video. 
and then he gets about a 90 at the knee, which is pretty good for the sculpt and everything. And then a little bit of ankle with uh, maybe a little bit of a rocker. It's hard to tell. He gets some side to side with that. And then of course he comes with this nicely modeled AK-47 from the game. He can hold that pretty well. I don't feel like it's straining his hands or anything or that it's going to like break his hands to actually get it into the grip. Um, but then trying to get him to look down. I mean, it's okay. It's, it's not great, but it's okay. I think for having this, you know, on your desk or something, it's, it's pretty good, but it definitely does not have the articulation range of most six inch figures that you're seeing out today, especially when you have lines like the black series and Marvel legends, which do really super articulated versions of most figures. Now, that being said, this is the old version of the McFarlane Call of Duty figures. And although I've never really dealt with any of the other ones from this line, I didn't get Rick Defin or uh, Frank Woods there. This is an absolute win of an upgrade to the Soap McTavish here. If you have not played the game yet, I'll give you a tiny spoiler here just in saying that this is not the same Captain Price that we met in COD 4 Modern Warfare, Modern Warfare 2, or Modern Warfare 3. This is kind of an alternate universe to those games, so it's retelling a story of a different Captain Price. At least that's my understanding of it. That said, it would absolutely work well as a Modern Warfare 3, Modern Warfare 2 Captain Price, and would fit well with your with your Soap McTavish figures. He's got a really nice head sculpt. I love the boonie cap that he's given here, along with a nice little mic running to his ear. Starting off at the neck and head here, he's actually got a... Uh, dumbbell joint here as well as a ball joint in the bottom of the neck so he has a pretty decent range of motion here uh, of course it's a little bit hindered by some of the sculpt this scarf piece is a separate piece for his uh, outfit I suppose he has really nice shoulders um, he actually has like a extra little bit of a butterfly going on there as well as really nice upwards down. He's got a double jointed elbow which crunches very nicely as well as the nice hinge and swivel at the wrist there. Both elbows are double jointed so I mean he can get his rifle right up there like that. He can get it into all sorts of poses. Very tactical looking. Moving down he has a ball jointed torso here with a really nice range of motion. And when you compare these two figures, it's night and day. I mean, this has decent articulation, whereas this figure has practically the articulation of any modern day Marvel Legends or Star Wars The Black Series. And in some cases, it's even better, especially with these elbow joints. And then down to the hips, he's got a pretty good forward range with that. A little bit of a backward, but it leaves that really ugly gap there, which is one downside to these hip designs that they use. Again, the weird splaying that you get there. But when the hips are set in place like that, it's almost seamless with the pant design, and I can understand why they made that choice. Onto the knees, you again have a double joint, so you can get that all the way up like so. Then on down to the ankles, you've got a hinge here as well as a rocker, which is really nice. And then, as you can see here, you've got a swivel on the toe, which gives you some options for maybe like a crouching position like that where he's got his legs forward and he's sliding into action maybe you know something something like that overall this is a really awesome figure i highly recommend it it's a great modern military figure uh, not very many are made in the six inch line lots of great detail packed into it that is what you would expect with a mcfarland figure I mean, you've got the little patches here and here. Uh, no patch here, but I'm wondering if that might come down the line with maybe another figure or an updated Captain Price where he's got some unit insignia there. Or maybe it's just mine. I'm not sure. But still, really good detail on his tactical vest, all the ammo pouches, the radio set, a wristwatch here. It's just... It's absolutely awesome and it's absolutely perfect for Call of Duty. This figure is basically perfect for a Call of Duty action figure or even just a modern military action figure. I do hope that they keep this sculpt design for their future figures that they create 
and that they'll maybe go back and do a ghost and do, you know, all the characters from Modern Warfare 2, Modern Warfare 3, and do them with sculpts like this. I think that there's a lot of people that would really appreciate them, even though, I mean, I saw probably half a dozen of these prices sitting on a shelf at, you know, Walmart, which was kind of disappointing. I mean, these are really awesome action figures. I think that they have a lot going for them, even if you're just going to put them on the shelf. But for someone like me who's going to do toy photography, they are even better because the, the posability is just exceptional. And, you know, you don't see many modern military figures in the six inch scale that can actually achieve this level of posing. So all in all, I'm really happy with this figure. Definitely recommend it if you're a fan of Call of Duty or just military figures in general. I would still recommend the older Call of Duty figures. I think they work really well alongside like Captain Price and such. However, just be aware that the articulation is subpar and you'll have some issues with that. As far as durability goes with both of these, I haven't had any issues with them breaking or being damaged, but I have heard people say that the older ones can be more uh, brittle or breaking from different things, just use in general, sometimes just trying to put the weapon in their hands. So be aware of that, but it's not something that I would imagine super glue couldn't fix. Anyways, I hope you found this review helpful in some way. If you did, I'd appreciate it if you leave a thumbs up on this video, as well as hitting that subscribe button if you want to see more videos like this popping up in your feed. I really do appreciate that. The channel has been growing recently, and I do appreciate all of you who have recently subscribed, hit the like button on my videos, been commenting, all that good stuff. It really means a lot to me, and I'm glad to be able to produce more videos like this in the future. Be sure to be on the lookout for some more excellent bootleg videos that James and I have worked on together. Those are a lot of fun to make, so hopefully you guys enjoy them as much as I enjoy making them. And as always, thanks for watching guys, and I'll catch you in the next video.